There is a little known fact we'd like to let you in on. The grass is always greener under a coconut tree. You're tuned in to the Caribbean Post for those who seek to experience the Caribbean. Join us as we dive into the rich history and culture of the region and its people. From flying fish and more Caribbean cuisine to its music, history, and local flair. Join us for another exciting episode starting now. What's it mean to have an itchy palm? When did the Caribbean gain independence? Even the history has flair. This is Caribbean history. Cuba. This is the largest island in the Caribbean, with one third of it being covered by sprawling hills and the other two thirds mostly used for agriculture. Discovered in 1492 by Christopher Columbus and claimed for Spain, Cuba is now a communist country, although it still considers itself a republic. Formally gaining independence in 1902, this country celebrates its Independence Day on the 10th of October, which is seen as the anniversary of the beginning of the Independence War, or the Dia de la Independencia. The island contains nine UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Aside from tourism, one of the country's main source of income is the exportation of tobacco, sugar, and nickel. It is home to the smallest bird in the world, the bee hummingbird, known by the locals as the Zunzun. And because it is one of the safest countries in Latin America, with little to no violent crimes, it is a popular destination for solo female tourists. Fun fact! Ernest Hemingway lived in Cuba for 20 years, and during that time, he penned two of his most famous novels, The Old Man in the Sea and To Whom the Bell Tolls. Caribbean Post is on 96.5 FM and 1530 AM. Caribbean Power Radio, the heartbeat of the Caribbean. Caribbean Post is the anatomy, music, and tastes of the Caribbean. Official sponsor, Vita BCD Plus, the natural energy and immune booster. Available online at vitabcdplus.com. We all know there's something special about the Caribbean, but it's not something you say. It's something you celebrate. This is the Caribbean Post, a podcast celebrating all of the wonders of the Caribbean, from its exciting music and dancing to its rich history, scenery, and food. The Caribbean Post is the anatomy, music, and tastes of the Caribbean. Not every crab hole get crab, but when it does, we have some amazing ways to serve it up. It's time to discover Caribbean cuisine. Cuba. As a result of being colonized by Spain, Spanish cuisine has greatly influenced Cuban dishes. Other influences are Africa, from the Africans who were brought to the country as slaves, and the French who came to Cuba from Haiti. A typical meal consists of rice and beans. When cooked together, the side dish is known as congri or moros, while when cooked apart, it's called arroz con frijoles. The Cuban sandwich is a popular dish in the United States, which arrived when cigar workers traveled between Cuba and Florida in the late 19th century. The sandwich is built on lightly buttered Cuban bread and contains sliced roast pork, sliced serrano ham, Swiss cheese, dill pickles, and yellow mustard. Three of the island's famous traditional dishes are arroz con pollo, a dish closely related to paella, that is made of saffron rice and chicken, Ropa Vieja, which is considered one of the island's national dishes, made of shredded flank steak and a tomato sauce, black beans, saffron rice, plantains, and fried yuca with beer. And Picadillo, that consists of ground meat, tomatoes, raisins, and olives, which is served on a bed of rice. Fun fact, during the reign of Fidel Castro, the Cuban Revolution led to the breakdown of U.S. relations, which impacted Cuban cuisine. Becoming a communist country with ties to the Soviet Union, wheat and yogurt were brought into the country while pork replaced chicken and beef disappeared completely. Listen to Caribbean Post every week on 96.5 FM and 1530 AM. Caribbean Power Radio, the outbeats of the Caribbean, based in Jacksonville, Florida. The people of the Caribbean offer many talents, from song and dance to some hidden and unexpected masteries. In this segment, make way for clever Caribbeans. 
Cuba's culture is influenced by West African and European, primarily Spanish culture. Its music is considered one of the richest and most influential in the world. Most genres are nothing like their native origin, since the native population was exterminated in the 16th century. Though the greatest instrumental contribution of the Spanish was the guitar, the tradition of European musical notation and techniques of musical composition held far more value to the Cubans. Junto Cubano is a sung genre of Cuban music. It emerged in the western and central regions of Cuba during the 19th century. It is played by a group with various string instruments, for example, the Spanish guitar, the Cuban tres, and the lao. The word punto refers to the technique of plucking the instruments as opposed to strumming. Son Cubano is a style of music and dance that originated in Cuba, gaining international popularity in the 1930s. It combines the structure and traits of Spanish canción with Afro-Cuban stylistic and percussion instruments. Some famous names to come out of Cuba are Celia Cruz, who was famous for singing Guarachas, earning her the title La Guarachera de Cuba. Singer Benny Moore, a Cuban singer and band leader, and international stars Camila Cabello and Pitbull. Fun fact, the Guaracha is a genre of rapid tempo and picaresque lyrics. It is still played today in brothels and other places in Havana. Thank you for listening to Caribbean Post. We hope you enjoyed this episode on the history, culture, and talents of the Caribbean and its people. Until next time, official sponsor, Vita BCD Plus, the natural energy and immune booster. Get it online at vitabcdplus.com or call us at 877-494-0467.